Good morning Reefers, I'm Daniel and this is the Griffin comparison video I've been trying to do for so long now. Um, those of you who can't decide on which saw to buy and they're both pretty expensive. I think the price is maybe $50 difference for the extra clearance. So if you're just doing small frags, little zoanthid rocks, discs, frag plugs, you can get away with a smaller saw. This one has a clearance of about two and a quarter inches and you can actually remove this guide for a little extra clearance. I do a lot of big rocks and weird oddball shapes, so I went with the taller saw. I had to upgrade. Uh, it was only a matter of time. So, and then for the price of these diamond blades, it's just not worth it for me to replace and keep the saw, so I'm gonna sell this saw, um, just because I'd rather have replacement parts for this one. Even though they are interchangeable, you just, you always want this blade. So they're pretty easy to fix, to repair, to upkeep, and pretty much just keep going. These saws are pretty indestructible. You just want to keep a few parts on hand. Uh, these guides are great when you're cutting. You don't ever want to twist or rotate this blade. So if you do, you will cut into these guides here in the table. So eventually you do want to replace these, so it's good to keep them on hand. Um, because your blade will get sloppy as it's rolling and the sloppier it is just the more damage you're going to do so keeping your equipment in shape and proper running order actually will extend the le length of its life so if you let your equipment get bad you let a bearing go out of whack and you keep using it that bearing is going to wobble until it destroys itself so for most hobbyists i would say this griffin is a beast it's definitely worth having um, the taller one if you don't need it it's just more expensive blade and more chance of it breaking being longer. So for the average person who doesn't really cut every day, if you twist this too much, you have a longer piece and you force this blade, it will flex some, but it's easier to break on the taller one. So uh, up to you guys, any questions feel free to ask as always. I just really wanted to do this because I am gonna sell the saw and I will no longer have it. So, if you have any questions in the comparison, if you want to know anything, leave them in the questions, comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing.